Hey there, folks. This is Richard of DoomedMovieThon.com. Sorry, my cat is making me laugh. I am back with another episode of My Horror Shelfie. My Horror Shelfie is a series where I talk about all the horror movies on my shelves from A to Z, and uh, I pull some movies from my shelves, which I've already done this time, and talk about them <laughs> with you. 14 videos, and I'm getting worse at describing what this series is about. This episode's a little different because I finally got through the letter C, and I wanted to backtrack since, for some reason, it took me three and a half years to record from the beginning of the letter A till the end of the letter C. That's a space of time. Movie collections change. My movie collection changes a lot. I have had recent weeding that I've done. I've gotten rid of lots and lots of movies. And the reason I got rid of lots of movies was so I could buy more movies. And I didn't want to leave a bunch of titles behind, so this is an update video. I'm going to go through uh, the letter A through C again, and hopefully uh, not duplicate movies I've already talked about in the first 13 episodes. First up is a little movie called Absurd. Um, this Blu-ray very important to me. I am so happy this movie is on Blu-ray. I saw Absurd under its uh, Zombie 6 Monster Hunter or just Monster Hunter on TV when I was very young, like six or seven years old. Never forgot it. Never left my memory. It took me a few years to find it. Uh, when I got back into horror movies, I went online and asked a bunch of people in a, in a, a forum like, what is this movie? Here's all that I remember about it. And folks were like, oh yeah, that's Absurd by Joe D'Amato. It's a Halloween ripoff, which literally had to be pointed out to me. <laughs> I didn't even think of it when it came out. I was, when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that's like a Halloween movie, sure. But uh, George Eastman wreaks havoc. He's not a cannibal this time around, even though this is a sequel to Anthropophagus. He is not a cannibal, he's just a vicious murderer who cannot die. Thank you, Severin, for putting this out. I'm very happy. It's even got the frickin' soundtrack on CD, which, oddly enough, I also have the soundtrack on vinyl. How do these things happen? Next up is Alien Predators, not to be confused with Aliens vs. Predator or anything that you might confuse something like this with. This is a very strange international production that is kind of hard to describe. I guess it's an alien ripoff, like if aliens crash to Earth, which is why I think it has the alien title in it. Very gory, um, very unusual tone, kind of hard to pin this one down. There's a little bit of animal violence in it. It doesn't happen on screen, uh, but there is a obviously murdered cow, like this cow looks like it's unhealthy and then all of a sudden they cut and the cow is lying on the ground dead. And you're like, hmm. So animal lovers beware. They also scare the living hell out of a dog. Uh, like this dog was, he thought he was gonna die. It's very scary for the dog. So uh, not a sensitive portrayal of humans being kind to animals. Instead, it sucks in that regard. But I recommend it, it's weird. Just know that stuff is in there. I have a stack of movies and they're all pretty strange, but none of them are as strange as American Rickshaw. This is from good old uh, Sergio Martino. And I really, I mean, seriously, I don't know what to say about it other than you have to see this movie. It's a thriller slash fantasy slash horror movie. It's very unusual. I was so glad I went into this not knowing anything about it. And I suggest you do the same. Just track this one down. Give it a watch. It's so weird. Uh, Donald Pleasance is in it. I don't think he knew what this movie was about. Uh-oh, shrink wrap. I got a shrink wrapper. This is uh, Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours. I like Visiting Hours, and I have a feeling I'm gonna love it next time I watch it. I was kinda on the fence about it. Bad Dreams is one I rented as a kid, and I vaguely remember it being okay. Some folks are down on it. I look forward to breaking 
this shrinking wrap and actually watching both of these again because it's been a very long time. Basket Case 2. I have never seen Basket Case 2. Uh, I've seen the first Basket Case and I know this one's supposed to be really crazy so I went ahead and picked it up uh, when it was on sale and uh, yeah. More fun from the Hen and Lauder Man. The Beast Must Diet. Great, silly premise and just a fun movie all around. If you haven't seen The Beast Must Die, you should watch it. The B-E-I-N-G, The Being, wow. This is a certified Easter horror film. I forgot that this took place on Easter and this Easter uh, we rewatched it because uh, uh, Lietta was searching for Easter movies and she found this one, which uh, is very special. Uh, Martin Landau, at the time, he'd been in um, Alone in the Dark, and he'd been in uh, Without Warning, and of course the trilogy here is he was also in The Being <laughs> with uh, uh, Jose Ferrer and Ruth Buzzy, uh, folks who are big fans of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. I know you are. Uh, she's great in this movie. I wanted her to be in the whole thing, but it's all right. She's not in the whole thing. Goopy, silly creature feature with one of the most unlikable lead characters ever. Uh, this actor's name is uh, William Osco. He is terrible. He is utterly boring. He looks like that singer. Um, he looks like this guy. He looks like Michael McDonald. I could not remember his name, but yeah, he looks like him. Uh, but I think uh, Michael McDonald, even though he's not an actor, would have been better than this guy. And that's part of the charm of the movie is how wretched this lead character is. Everyone else is a real actor that just smokes this dude talent-wise. And yeah, I just, I don't understand him at all. It's great. Beyond the Black Rainbow. Uh, before the dude made Mandy with good old Nicolas Cage, he made a little film called Beyond the Black Rainbow, which is one of my favorite uh, journey movies. It's, uh, it, it takes you on a journey. It's not necessarily a movie about a journey. It just takes the viewer on a journey because it's, um, it's nearly two hours and it's just, it just gets you and holds you, uh, but it also caresses you. I also have the soundtrack. The soundtrack to this movie is gold. If you haven't seen Beyond the Black Rainbow, give it a watch. I'll say this, it's not for everybody. Beyond Evil. Uh, Beyond Evil is a movie I didn't know existed until uh, my buddy Scott from EuroCultAV.com sent me this to review. I had no idea. I knew nothing about this. It's got good old John Saxon in it. Linda Day George from Pieces is in this. Very 70s. Um, possession movie. Just, you need to see this. This is fun. Um, not a lot happens and it's not very exciting. But if you need that 70s goodness, you do a lot worse than this one. Black Roses. I have never seen Black Roses. I know it's a heavy metal horror film, and I'm very much looking forward to watching it. Uh, my buddy Court of uh, Cinema Psyops podcast, he wanted to be on the show. And I said, what do you want to do? And we picked something music related, so here we are. And eventually, you'll get to hear Court and I talking about it. Butcher, Baker, Nightmare Maker. Uh, this is a slasher movie that I've heard has got some crazy performances in it. Somehow it's been eluding me, and I don't know why, other than it took me a long time to acquire this Blu-ray. And uh, I am looking forward to watching it. This one is even more shameful. I don't know how I've never seen this. Kathy's Curse. Uh, Kathy's Curse is one of those films that's the scourge of the uh, public domain horror movie set world. It's all over the place. I don't know how I've never seen it before. And something told me, just buy it. I know I'm going to love it. So, folks, don't be hating. Be supportive. I will watch this movie. That is my stack of stuff that was not covered in the first uh, 13 episodes. Hopefully one day when I get through many more letters, I'll, I'll go back and do another video like this where I can talk about new acquisitions. But uh, 
yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy my Saturday and probably have tacos. Thank you for watching.